Good morning, uh, well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you're watching this. Uh, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Nicola. I'm a mum of two and I make lifestyle videos. And that includes vlogs and hauls and all that sort of stuff. I would love it if you would subscribe and join our little community. And you can do that by clicking the button just down here. And today I am filming a what I eat in a day video. I haven't done one of these for quite a while actually. And I know that people love these videos. I always put Weight Watchers points on the meals that I eat because I loosely follow Weight Watchers. I just kind of trying to keep it in mind when I'm making my food rather than actually follow it religiously now because I'm maintaining weight rather than losing it. And so yeah, just sort of keep it in mind. I don't track on the app as much anymore. But I, yeah, as I said, I do try and keep it in mind. So it is currently uh, quarter past eight. I have just done the school run. I had a banana and a cup of tea at about half past six this morning and that's kept me going until now. And I am going to make myself some breakfast. I nearly always, if you've watched my videos before, I nearly always have a poached egg on a bagel, on a bagel thin for my breakfast. However, recently they've been making me feel a bit sick afterwards. I don't know why, I don't know whether it's because I've been eating them too often, um, but yeah, I just can't stomach them at the moment. So I have, although I still want to have eggs because they are good, they are filling and I enjoy them, I thought maybe I would try a different form of egg. So I'm going to do some scrambled eggs with some mushrooms and a tomato, I think, on a bagel this morning for my breakfast. I was humming and hawing about what else to do. Um, I could have had pancakes, I didn't really fancy that. You know, it's one of those mornings, it's wet and miserable outside and I just want something warm and filling. So I'm gonna make myself some scrambled eggs. And yeah, enjoy those for my breakfast. Like the day before You're like a stone on my pillow I don't make a sound when I shut the door You don't have to wake up yet We can spend all day in bed I'll put the TV in the room We'll have a Netflix Marathon, KG saxophone. We'll order in a bunch of food. I'll put your favorite. Hello again, it is just gone 11 o'clock, and I am just having a cup of tea, a bit of a break from my screen because my eyes are hurting. Um, although I'm sat at my screen, but just not working for five minutes. Um, I got a cup of tea, and I've also got one of these, which is um, a Bliss Bar, which if you've seen my home bargains hauls you will see I always pick up. Um, my salted caramel ones are by far my favourite. This is the chocolate one, which is also nice, but uh, yeah, salted caramel are so nice. I might pop out later on if I've got time. I'm quite busy today, but I might pop out later if I've got time and pick up some more because, um, yeah, this is probably one of the last ones. I think I might have got one more of these left and that's it, I'm out. And uh, these are filling and they are nice and they are four points. So I'm gonna enjoy that now and uh, think about doing some more work. Hello, it is 25 plus one. I have done so much work today and um, just quickly nipped out and took the dog for a quick walk. Then nipped to Tesco to pick up some cereal that um, the rest of my family wanted. And now I'm quickly gonna have some lunch. Uh, I really, I picked up some, I'll show you. I picked up some of these um, baked beans, the low sugar ones. No added sugar, that's four points for one of those. And I was gonna have that on a bagel. Um, but I actually really fancied something sweet. Didn't really want savory. My sweet tooth is craving sweetness. So I'm actually going to have, and I will show you, um, this is, looks like a bowl of yogurt, um, which it basically is. I've put some of the, I've used the Aldi Super Nutty Granola and a 50 gram serving is seven points, which is quite a high. Um, Andrew has the 
low sugar alternative and I think that's slightly less but I just don't like the taste of it and I love this so I'm having that so I've got a serving of that with a banana and then some fat free um, yogurt which is this one the Arla I have no idea how to pronounce that skier yogurt Icelandic yogurt and we used to you we used to have the Liberté uh, Greek style yogurt and for some reason Tesco's have stopped selling it so they sell the um, they sell the of the fruit ones the ones with like a compote fruit compote but um not the plain ones for some reason and they were our favorites so we're now having that one actually that's really nice too i'm having that with my cup of tea of the day i'm tired today and i think that's i'm having tea and caffeine to try and keep me awake i look really dark around the eyes i think it's just the lighting um so yeah that's what i'm gonna have for my lunch now Hello, it is about 4.30. I have just got back, having picked Phoebe up from school, dropped her at dance. She's there till half past six today, so I'm not stopping. I've come home, Archie's finishing school at five, so Andrew is picking him up, I hope. Um, so I've come back to crack on with a bit more work, and while I do that, I am tucking into a small bowl of these. These are the uh aldi pop chips the barbecue ones i adore them they're so nice and a small bowl like this is about three points so not too bad we're going to be having our dinner relatively late this evening because obviously i've got to pick phoebe up half for six so by the time i get back it's gone dark by the time i get back it will be seven ish and then i have to cook dinner so it's going to be about half seven by the time we eat so i'm just filling myself up with some of these to keep me going because it's going to be a while I don't want to have another cup of tea, but I think it's on the cards. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm flagging a little bit, so I just thought I'd have these to keep me going for a little bit until I have to go and pick Phoebe up from dance. Good evening, it is now 7.02 and I have just got back from picking up Phoebe from dance and I am gonna start cooking some dinner. Andrew is currently in the gym um, and so I think I think he'll be you back in in a minute. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to start doing dinner because otherwise it's going to get too late and I will be too hungry. So if you watched my what we eat in a week video, you may have seen that we have started to buy Gusto boxes for four meals a week, just for Andrew and myself because we were just a bit bored of the stuff we were eating. Uh, I was getting a bit sick of cooking the same stuff every week and just wanted to try something different. And when you're busy and in and out, in and out, it's easier just to have, you know, a recipe that's there ready-made and all of the food is me measured and weighed and just prepared. So other than the chopping, obviously. But so it's easier to, you know, just throw something together that's a little bit different and not the same old, same old that you always cook. So we have today, I think we are going to do Andrew and I had a little discussion earlier what we were going to have and I think we're going to do this today so I will do a little sorry the lighting in this kitchen is terrible at the moment let me go over here so you can see there we go you might be able to do a little screenshot of that if you want to see it is the creamy Cajun chicken and Romano linguine and those are all the ingredients which we have all um, measured out and ready and then the recipe is on the back I can turn it over it's on the back there so feel free to take a screenshot of that if you want to um and so yeah i'm gonna embark on cooking that now um the these recipes i just put this one into my weight watchers app just to have a look and see how much it is and it came out around 12 points for this one um I think that it's a shame because a lot of these recipes have um, sort of cream cheese and cream in them and things like that. And it's not a lot, just a little bit, but they always put like the full fat version and it would be nice if, I mean, you don't need the full fat version. It doesn't really, well, for me, it doesn't make much difference to the taste. And I think it's a shame that they don't perhaps put lower fat versions in as an option perhaps or just as standard really. Um, because yeah, it does make them quite high in points. Some of the recipes that we've got, um, I mean, the portions are small, 
really small. So I never feel like I'm eating loads and loads, but yeah, probably higher than if I cooked us a Weight Watchers chili or a Weight Watchers um, spaghetti bolognese or something like that, then this would definitely be higher in points. But it's different, it's nice, it's tasty, and that's the main thing. So yeah, this is gonna be a 12 point dinner tonight. And I'm gonna start cooking it now. is this one creamy cajun chicken romano linguine kind of looks a little bit like the picture i'll let you know how it tastes so dinner is done and it was really tasty sorry i've had to come up to my bedroom because um everyone was being really noisy downstairs and archie's watching tv in the lounge and there was nowhere else for me to go so i've come up here but yeah it was a really nice at dinner i overcooked the chicken a little bit because um the recipe said to put the linguine on right towards the end and so I had to cook that for sort of eight ten minutes and the chicken was already done at that point so it was really overdone I mean Andrew prefers it crucified anyway uh, but it was fine it tasted yummy anyway and the linguine was really nice I didn't put all of the there was like um some spice a spicy mix to put in a Cajun spice mix and you put some of it on the chicken and the rest into the pasta and I didn't put any, I didn't even put half it in and it was fine um, I, I was worried about making it too spicy um, I probably could have put a bit more but it was lovely it really tasted yummy so I would definitely have that one again I don't think I'll be eating anything else today I'm quite tired so I'm gonna put Phoebe to bed now read her a story and then watch a bit of telly and then probably hit the sack because I am shattered it's been a long day and um yeah good one but a high points day probably for me um probably had more at lunchtime than I would normally have um used to try and just have um like a zero point lunch especially if I was having a higher point dinner so obviously dinner was 12 points if I was having that normally I would try and have a zero point lunch but it's this time of year I just don't fancy having salads for lunch it's just I don't know it's not an attractive proposition to have a salad when it's freezing cold outside so um I didn't but I mean actually saying that I had yogurt didn't I that's cold oh well anyway <laughs> I had a highish point lunch today and uh, I probably should have had something a bit smaller but it's fine 27 points is not the end of the world when I was doing um Weight Watchers properly and trying to lose weight uh up 23 points a day was my um, points level so um, 27 isn't that bad because obviously you've got your weeklies to add on so 
I would generally be happy with a 27 point day. So yeah, I'm gonna end this video here. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you do Gusto, if you if there are any recipes that you really like that are Weight Watchers ones that might we might like or we might enjoy. Um, I will also leave a link to um, my link to Gusto below. It's like a code and a link and I think you can get like 50% off your first box and then 30% after that or something like that. I'll leave all the details below. Um, but you can do that if you want to try Gusto. We just tried it as a one-off just to see for a month to see um, if we'd enjoy it and we certainly have and we've carried on with it so um, I would recommend it if you're stuck for recipe ideas and meal ideas um, there's some really yummy things there so I would recommend it and I'll leave all the details below um, if you like the video give it a thumbs up if you're not subscribed please do uh, turn on your notifications and I think that's everything so thank you for watching and I'll see you next time <laughs>